Ready Player One Review, it was acceptable in the 80s. Has this 1980s revival gone too far? I was mulling this question over a couple of weeks ago during a rare expedition to one of London's hipster hotspots. With a mixture of horror and amusement, I'd just witnessed three twenty-somethings confidently sporting shell suit tops and full mustaches. In their young heads, they were perched daringly on fashion's cutting edge. To my jaded eyes, they were bullseye contestants. I'm a film reviewer not a fashion writer, but I've noticed a similar development playing out on screen. Stephen King's It, Super 8, Midnight Special and Netflix hit Stranger Things all repackaged the 1980s for a generation that is way too young to have experienced it. With teenage sci-fi Ready Player One, Steven Spielberg doesn't merely jump on the bandwagon, he plunks himself in the driving seat. In the first set piece, hundreds of cars take part in a wacky race to the accompaniment of Joan Jett's I Hate Myself for Loving You. Ready Player One is as spectacular as anything Spielberg dreamed up in the 1980s. There's the DeLorean from Back to the Future, the A-Team Van, Mad Max's Interceptor and the Plymouth Fury from Christine. Later, a young man is selecting outfits for a date. Does he go for Prince Purple, Michael Jackson leather or the Duran Duran trench coat? In the end he picks the baggy suit and loose tie worn by the hero of Little Scene 1984 family flop Buckaroo Bonsai. In a film as achingly fashionable as this one, it's the perfect fit. Thankfully, there is some method to this retro madness. As in Ernest Cline's 2011 novel Ready Player One, the book which lit the touch paper of this decade's 1980s fixation, much of the film plays out in a virtual world called Oasis. It is 2045, America has gone to the dogs and the masses are huddled together in vast trailer parks playing a hugely popular virtual reality game. James Halliday, Mark Relance, Oasis's recently deceased trillionaire creator, left a challenge on his deathbed. Find three hidden keys in the sprawling game and you can inherit his fortune and his company. As Halliday was more 1980s obsessed than Napoleon Dynamite's Uncle Rico, a 2000s reference there, just to mix things up, key hunters really need to know their flash dance from their footloose. Our teenage hero Wade, Ty Sheridan, is just such a chap. Under the cover of his floppy-haired avatar Partival, he has been using his retro pop culture know-how to steal a march on Nolan Sorrento, Ben Mendelsohn, a one-note evil businessman who has an army at his disposal. The virtual scenes are wildly inventive and slickly rendered in hyper-stylized CGI. But my favorite sequence ditches pixels for the cool cinematography of Stanley Kubrick as Partival and his friends enter the Shining Silver Look Hotel to hunt for clues. Ready Player One is as spectacular as anything Spielberg dreamed up in the 1980s but his best films didn't need to point to other directors' work. This is fun while it lasts but I would have liked a little more humor and a lot more soul. I pray the retro revival has now hit its peak. Those mustachoed youths really deserve a youth culture of their own.